Of course, all the water from this year's historic snowpack has made a big difference in water levels at lakes and reservoirs across Colorado. Recently, we showed you how the Strontia Springs Dam is also overflowing for the first time in four years. Well, we've very much seen the dramatic changes made at Lake Dillon in the past few months, and today we had a chance to take a look at another lake fed by snowmelt straight from Rocky Mountain National Park. Nine News meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen shows us the changes at Lake Granby. So we're at the base of Granby Dam, which is right below Lake Granby in Grand County. And right now, uh, some water from Lake Granby is coming down through the spillway and going into the Colorado River. This is the place where the famous Colorado River is born. The headwaters forming from northern Colorado snowmelt. And when the dam spills, that means the reservoir is full. It happens pretty often in uh, Lake Granby. This is uh, the fifth time in the past six years that it has uh, used the spillway. A severe drought in Colorado going into last winter left Lake Granby at its lowest level since 2013. Even with well above average snowpack through May, managers still weren't sure if it would spill. That's until a major snowstorm hit on the first day of summer. That was the storm that put them over the top. Northern Water operates this reservoir and sends water to 33 different cities and towns on the front range north of Denver. That's about 1 million people. From here, the water gets pumped up to Grand Lake and rolls down a giant 13-mile pipe that runs underneath Rocky Mountain National Park to the Front Range. The rest of the water goes into the Colorado River and makes its way to the western slope and then into the southwest part of the country. From Granby, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.